I'm a piece of shit. The guy we're talking about today kinda is, to be honest. He's a really bad guy. He's a stinking turtle head. And he was on my favorite TV show of all time, My 600 Pound Life. This fella's name is Steven Asante. You may have seen clickbait around of him, maybe heard of him before. He's been everywhere, really. He's been on Dr. Phil, he's been on TLC, and he's got quite an interesting life that I would like to uh, to show you guys because it's 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 interesting. I'm on the bed here for a half an hour. I got piss all over my bed. Get out of here. Not a good guy. Really, 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 really not a good guy. But I do wish him the best, and I hope that he can turn things around. Steven Asante is kind of like the scum of the earth a little bit. I don't want to be like too too mean. He's a 40 year old man. Lives with his father, he's from Rhode Island, which is rare. Not a lot of people from there, okay? He's best known for his appearance on TLC's show, My 600 Pound Life, but since then he's grown. <laughs> in terms of his following and his physical size. In fact, Steven weighed at his peak nearly 800 pounds, which is quite impressive. That's a lot of weight for one person. I weigh 162, baby. That's the most I've ever weighed in my entire life. I'm getting jacked, okay guys? I don't wanna alarm you, but I'm, I'm on trend. We're gonna be delving deeper uh, into who Steven Asante is. If you guys don't like my sense of humor, I'm, I apologize, but I think this guy's a bit of a turd. So I, I, he's a bit of a dork. So I'm gonna make fun of him a little bit. So hang on to that. I mentioned Steven was on Dr. Phil a while ago in an episode of House of Hatred that was filmed in 2007. He was in a house of hatred with a couple of other interesting characters. If you jack with me, I will fire you in a heartbeat. Guy named B hates white people. Guy named Gary hates black people. Well, actually he thinks white people are best. He's a white supremacist. And then we got Steven, hates thin people. A house of hatred. Everyone seems to be just really upset with John. I'm just at the point now that I don't even wanna be in the same room as him. Could you please go clean up your mess from eating? Could you please shut the up? No, you've been asked more than once nicely. Just get your lazy ass up and clean it. I was not asked nicely the first time, I never did anything, ever. Dishes are clean for me. The list goes on. I never done any of that before. It's new to me. Interesting thing to hate. I cannot imagine hating people who are thin. That's strange. I can't imagine hating people based on the color of their skin either. That seems also strange. Our character here, Steven, in this episode of House of Hatred, tries to make himself fit in, so he aligns with the white supremacist because he's a white guy. So he starts yelling white power and hiling Hitler, you know, that old classic chestnut of a thing to do. And then he basically gets called out and shit on by Dr. Phil and the other members of the house for just being an attention seeker, a total, a total goober, a total goober, if you will. This guy's a real d Imagine getting called out by Gary the white supremacist. <laughs> it must be rough, dude. Now, all this isn't really related to the biggest part of Steven's life, which is his TLC, but it just kind of uh, paints the picture on who he will become. He is this guy all the time. And this is a long time ago, 2007, baby. <laughs> That's right. We got a timeline of events here, mother. Also, he has his own YouTube channel, which is dope as well. He's got his own content that he posts. It's really good. Uh, in 2009, he made that YouTube channel I was mentioning, and, and he posts dances to popular songs of the time, which is awesome. His name was Fat Boy Get Down. Love the name. Feels illegal to watch this. That song goes hard as f though. I love, uh, I love that music. I love that that band. I love them all. I'm getting hard right now. His channel was taken down. I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe he just took it down himself, but people have been re-uploading the clips. Fat boy, get down, rest in peace. All right, rest in peace, fat boy. He kind of reminds me of that guy who farts on his roommate's door. I like that guy, though. That guy seems funny. So this this epic content that Steven was creating gained some popularity for him. Good job. I mean, this look at this classic video. Incredible. He gained so much popularity that he was invited to be a feature on the show My 600 Pound Life. In my opinion, the connection to Dr. Phil probably was more the reason, less than the fat boy get down views, but you never know. He, he was in a few episodes of My 600 Pound Life. We do know that. 2017, baby. Yeah! He makes a massive fool of himself in all these episodes. It's, it's 
wild. Here's here's what he does. But for the past 80 days, Stephen was getting the help he needed at Rhode Island Hospital, where he lost 20 pounds. But after Stephen violated his care plan by ordering pizza, Stephen said the hospital told him he can no longer stay. As you could probably imagine, that'd be like <laughs> it'd be like getting your craft beer club uh, delivered to an AA meeting. Not good. I was supposed to stay there and lose all my weight and get down to 550 to get the gastro bypass that with the plan. He gets forced to move back in with his father and My 600 Pound Life starts 2017. One of the big moments from the My 600 Pound Life stuff is he gets forced to move back in with his father and he gives absolutely zero shits about what happens to him, which, which kind of makes sense because there's 10 pizza boxes hidden in his closet. That's right, guys. 10 pizza boxes hidden in the closets. One day I happen to open up that closet and I see 10. Look at this guy, he looks so nice. I said, let me tell you something, it's you gonna to stop. stop but he wanted his way. He used to threaten oh, me. Wow. Say, that seems illegal. It sucks that it's always the dads to me. It's always the dads who just get this short end of the stick in this situation, it seems like. I cannot imagine being that ups upset by your son and that just disappointed. If you don't give me pizza boxes, I'm gonna call the police on you. Yeah. Like that's crazy. <laughs> That just seems alien, man. I just feel bad for the dad, and also he's a, he's dumb because he's enabling it. What are the police gonna do? Can put you in jail? No. He screams at his dad. Says he's gonna call the police. Crazy bastard. But he wanted his way. He used to threaten me and say, "Look, if I don't eat, I'm gonna call the police on you." And keep in mind, this is a 35 year old man, all right, crying to his father as if he's a child because he found 10 pizza boxes and his dad doesn't want his own son to die. So he gets. <sighs> <laughs> now, although most of TLC shows are just kind of fabricated and, you know, it could be debated to the end of time whether or not this is a real moment, knowing Casey King's story, for example, I still think it paints a bad picture for Steven and there's a lot more to this that uh, that looks bad in his favor, you know, as compared to Casey, who is a saint. Steven gets moved across country to a treatment facility in Houston, all right? And upon arrival, he immediately shows off his dashing and charming personality. What a nice, what a nice young man. And that's 300 calories right there. I'm just following you. Kind of sad, man, kind of sad. We've seen it before though, that isn't terrible, just. I want more calorie. I want more heat in my body. I want more energy. I want more, I need to metabolize. Immediately after this, we meet the doctor that is spearheading, or rather harpooning, Stephen's treatment. Dr. Now, who we've seen plenty in the past. I love this guy and his gold-plated stethoscope. I want to be like him when I'm a 50-year-old Persian man. Maybe 80 or I don't know how old he is. He looks old. I think he's also Iranian, I'm pretty sure, which is Persia, I'm pretty sure. I'm not a, I don't fucking know, dude. All right, I'm a Balkan. I'm not actually, I lied. I do have a Greek grandparent, but. Steven immediately starts to bitch and moan for pain meds because the trip caused him so much discomfort. Hi, I'm Dr. Nazarda. Nice to meet you, you doing okay? Yeah, and a lot of pain from the trip though. It was quite the ride. Doctor now, being the badass that he is, immediately calls bullshit and just suggests that Steven is abusing care to have access to hospital level painkillers. He's casually asking for some pain medication, but his body language shows that he really wants it. So he's either in a lot of pain right now, or we are dealing with a very addictive and pathological personality here. I also kind of get that vibe as well, which is is not good please don't take advantage of that it is a absolute pandemic doctor now kind of has a history of being a blunt uh no holds bar doctor Persian. he's the persian doctor phil really is what's happening here he's very stern very harsh choose your adjective right now these people are likely where they are because they were never told no by someone who they actually respected during their lives that's not the entire reason but that definitely precipitates negative behavior we can all agree on that right adults grow up they become big giant babies they bring all their entitlement and all the chips on their shoulders with them and sometimes they physically eat the chips on their shoulder and doctor now sees this knows it and does not want to continue the trend he doesn't coddle them or let them get away with any excuses that they've used their entire lives which is based in red pill Come on, Dr. Now, you're you're awesome. This is when Steven's treatment begins in the show. He's put on a limited diet and a strict routine, and he's trying to lose 50 pounds a month. Now, that is a lot of weight for someone like me, but that is not that much weight for him. Okay, Steven, we're going to start doing a controlled diet here in the hospital that's going to be a thousand calorie a day. We should be able to get you to lose at least 50 pounds a month. Nice seeing you, guys. All right, won't be bad. Can I shake your hand? Thank you. All right. 
Hey. Long time. In order for him to get his surgery, he needs to get to 500 pounds, uh, which is common. It's the, the classic weight. Because like if you get the surgery and then you just keep eating, it doesn't work. It's not how it works. Steven, at first, seems fairly optimistic and cooperative, but it isn't long before we start to see the uh, the large morsel squeal from his crevice. He calls on the nurses relentlessly, asking to be just cared upon at every moment. It's wild. It's like the hospital's a five-star restaurant to him. It's very frustrating how long I have to okay. wait for everything. I have to call yeah. them and check on things. Yeah, man, just shut up. How about that? Just be quiet. Don't talk. He even literally says, if I act like a kid, I want you to treat me like a kid. If you do what now? You want what now? Dude, come on, man. This is crazy. If I act like a kid, I want you to treat me like a kid. Well, then that's fine. Then I guess we're... This makes sense. There's even a testimonial from one of his nurses that describes what kind of person he is. He asks for pain medication every 15 minutes, and when you don't get it, you toss your urine pan on the ground. This is not a good person, guys. This is a very bad person. It is a big, giant child. He says he, he is a kid. He's a massive child. It's, it's an admittance to that, it seems like to me. Doctor now hears this and confronts him about his behavior. Okay. And then he apologizes, and it's great. I know that, and I apologize for it. Upon me, mean nothing. <laughs> Doctor now just does not care at all. He does not care about apologies. They mean nothing. True. That is actually a good point. They mean nothing, literally. And he gives some lame-ass explanation. To me. Rip Bozo. All right, I'm smoking my Steven pack right now. Me and Doctor, me and, <laughs> me and Doctor now. Ha ha ha. Doc then says he's done with Steven and pulls him from the treatment, which is pretty great of him. You got to see a lost cause when you're presented gotta see it all right you can't mistreat people and then expect to be treated positively and this dude is just putting his the nurses at their peons to him steven is not a good guy he has no regard he holds absolutely no regard towards the people trying to help him and after all this instead of sending him to another food addiction facility they send him to a drug addiction facility because he has an addiction to pain meds ah, which makes sense because it i've heard it's very painful to be extremely obese and begging for it every 15 minutes on camera seems like you might have a problem. And also trying to manipulate the hospital staff into giving it to you. You have a massive problem. But unfortunately, addiction facilities are at will. He checked himself out shortly after. Um, and he's back to his hedonism. But in spite of this, Stephen was eventually able to lose 131 pounds by his second weigh-in when he was still in the hospital, which is pretty dope. And then after that, 600-pound life ended, and there hasn't been any news of him to follow. The only remnants of him online are for a short time he had a TikTok, and he, he used to have a TikTok, and it was deleted, and he did some weird live streams. He wiped his ass once on live and showed it to everyone, which is disgusting. The dude's wild, though. He, he doesn't seem like he cares too much. He looks crazy to me. We can definitely see that he's not exactly healthy at this moment. He looks like he's lost a lot of weight, which is good. And at this point, it's impossible to find any news of him. As far as we're aware, he's alive still, but the dude is weird. Not a good guy at all. If you want to say someone's a bad dude from a TLC show, this guy is the is the prime example. He's quite a he's a self-described controversial patient, and he's the most controversial patient on TLC. He's got his own cameo page which is pretty dope. That's pretty much all there is of him online. It's crazy. He does not look that good. He looks very old. He looks way older in just a span of a couple years. I hope Steven has changed his life around. He's a weird dude. He has a terrible dependence on drugs and food, and he's not really that concerned with making himself better. So hopefully he's doing well. It's been two years, but you never you never know. But there's no way to help someone uh, who, who doesn't want to help themselves. Let me know what you guys think about Steven Asante. Do you think he's the worst character off TLC of all time? Forever? 10 out of 10? Most evil guy? Or do you think that, um, that I'm just a piece of shit? You can think both too, if you want.